Elon era begins for Twitter as Musk is already making his mark. Started with firing the social media giant's top three executives. He's the big man. He can fire whoever he wants. And creating a new council to help free those in, quote, Twitter jail. Twitter said it didn't exist. He knows it did. And he's freed him. Fox Business reporter Kelly O'Grady joins us now. Kelly, what do you make of the way Elon has just jumped in and taken over? Well, thanks for having me, Pete. Yeah, I mean, but first of all, I love that he styled himself Chief Twit. Um, mm -hmm. But Elon is is so bold, and so I think this really tells everyone, you know, we're going to be making changes fast and furious. Now, he is going to create that council, and he's saying they're not going to change any content moderation policies until you have diverse viewpoints in there. But I think it shows we're going to see some really major changes, especially when it comes to free speech. I mean, he didn't buy this because he thinks it's the best platform out there. He wants to, mm -hmm. to turn it around. He does. I mean, how much much and your assessment from the business front okay you fire the top three but Twitter has a culture and cultures don't turn around immediately how much more of this do you believe will have to occur so he can get it where it's a level platform well, I love that you bring that up. I actually used to work in mergers and acquisitions, and I mean, this is the hard part. Most acquisitions fail because of the execution. I mean, I'm talking to people inside the company, and they are melting down right now <laughs> because they really believed in that way that Twitter did their content moderation. So, yeah, I think you're going to see some firing, both from a business standpoint. I mean, yeah, he's doing this for humanity, but he needs to make it profitable, right? He spent $44 billion for it. So he's going to uh, do some cuts there in order to then refocus on what he really wants to make Twitter. But yeah, I mean, you want a loyal staff, too. You want people that believe in what you're trying to do with the company. Yeah, you don't want a situation where you have like a deep state Twitter that's actually trying to undo what you're doing as the CEO. Cultures are very difficult to turn around. By the way, he also uh, recently tweeted, comedy is now legal on Twitter, <laughs> which means a little sarcasm, a few jokes here and there, maybe off color, going to be OK, which we all appreciate. <laughs> I know, I love that. It was great. <laughs> All right, Kelly O'Grady, thanks for breaking it down for us. We appreciate it. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilme. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.